Guys, make sure you like this video in the next five seconds because I'm going to show you the best auto clicker app that you can get on your iPhones, Android phones, or basically any mobile device you have. It's called the Panda Clicker and it basically can be combined with any game, any app you have on your device. And it comes with two cool features that I'm going to show you just now. The first one is called the Auto Clicker. As you can see, the video was titled about it. But one of the better features that I like about it is called the Auto Touch. Now, what is an Auto Clicker? Auto Clicker is basically you set it what to do and it's just gonna click for uh, click like anywhere for you but what the auto touch actually does you can command it to basically do actions for you like swipe up or swipe right or swipe left and basically you can train it to do that and it's super easy I'm gonna show you how to do this so let's go ahead and open it up click on the auto touch version to just simply go ahead and click on get and what I'm gonna do is record a new touch so let's go ahead and click on record and it's simply gonna read whatever I do on the screen once we hit this play button it's gonna start recording what I'm doing and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe like three times and then simply pause this so what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to rename the file so it can repeat these actions so let's go ahead and name it like auto swiper and you can like basically command it to do anything on any app you have it's basically very universal so doing that it's saved now let's go ahead and start this and actually do this use this to basically get this auto swiper done I don't know what's happening with the screen right now so let's go ahead and click on the auto touch once again click on get and it's gonna allow us to playback so let's go ahead and instead of clicking the record now we're gonna go ahead and click on playback select the right script which is auto swiper let's go ahead and select the right one auto swipe and simply we can set how many times we want to repeat it so let's go ahead and set it to I don't know like five times just to get the idea so we don't have to keep it going on forever but you can just go ahead and set it to like 999 if you want to go let it go forever and basically on any game any app which needs you to click swipe or basically do one of the repeated actions on the app this is the best way to do it so let's go ahead and set it to five and um, intervals is gonna be zero and random clicks it's gonna be zero you can go ahead and set it to like randomization if one of the apps actually you need to randomize like where to click and everything you can go ahead and randomize it but for this use we don't have to do this I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next and it has the commands that we actually recorded let's go ahead and click on run so as you can see it's automatically swiping right now because that's what we created and it's gonna keep going and if I want to go ahead and pause it I can just hit this button but I'm gonna just let this going for a while so I can just get, get you an idea of what this is so as you can see it played it five times and that's gonna be it so basically that's how the panda clicker works and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to install it on your devices so without further ado let's get right on with the video I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the app from the device so I can exactly show you how to install it so guys without further ado let's move right on with the video Guys, before we can download the Auto Clicker app or the Panda Clicker app on our iOS and Android devices, the first thing we have to do is make sure the devices we're trying to do this on are actually ready for that. What I mean by that is simply making sure the background app refresh on the device is set to the right option. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically an option that allows us to install tweaked and modded applications like the Panda Clicker on the device without having to jailbreak or root our devices. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. So first of all, let's go ahead and show you how to do this on iOS and then we'll move on with the Android devices. So in case you're using any iOS device like iPhones, iPod or iPads, just go ahead and open up your settings and once you're on the settings just go ahead and click on the screen and just give it a little like scroll up it's gonna show up with the search bar once it does that just go ahead and click on it and search for battery so let's go ahead and do that now as you can see we have the battery options once you see it just go ahead and click on it and what you're gonna make sure of is that the low power mode on your device is not enabled if it if it is enabled on the device just go ahead and turn it off make sure you turn it off before we move on with the process because that can suppress the background app refresh and that is something we don't want so once that's done go back to the main page of the settings once you do that you're gonna go ahead and scroll down click on the general options and once again scroll down to the background app refresh and simply make sure the background app refresh right here is enabled and it's set to on 
In case this option is not set to on, what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click on it and set it to Wi-Fi and cellular data. Now you can also set it to the middle option which is Wi-Fi if you're using a Wi-Fi connection but I highly recommend going with Wi-Fi and cellular data just to be sure the app can be added on the device no matter what kind of internet connection you actually use on the device. So with that done our iOS device is now all ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this on an Android device. So in case you're using an Android device to do this what you're going to do is simply go ahead and open up your settings first of all just like we did on the iOS device and scroll Scroll down to the battery options. So once you see the battery options, just go ahead and click on it. And what you're gonna do once again is scroll down to the high performance mode. Now on some Android devices, this option may not exist. If that's the case, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have the option on the device, just go ahead and enable it. What this is gonna do, it's gonna force enable the background app refresh along with all the background app refresh setting and that is exactly what we want. So once again, if you have the option, just go ahead and enable it. If you don't have it, there is no need to worry about it. With that done, our Android based devices are all ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the, the rest of the process to get the app. So it's identical for both iOS and Android. So you can follow exactly what I do on the iOS device, even if you're using an Android device. So for this, simply go ahead and open up a browser. This can be Safari, Chrome, or any browser. Or simply navigate to the site called IOAppsPro. Just pause the video if you uh, don't get it right. It's IOAppsPro. Make sure you get it right once again. So once you're on IO Apps or Pro, just go ahead and click on the search bar and search for Panda Clicker. So as you can see, we have the Panda Clicker right here. Just go ahead and tap on it and click on Start. And now it's going to start compiling all the files that have to be added on the device in order to get the Panda Clicker. So just give it a couple of seconds to prepare this and this should be ready. So just as soon as that's done, it's going to take us to this page which contains all the files that have to be added on the device in order to get the Panda Clicker. So simply go ahead, read what the installation file says and cl simply click on the install button. It's going to open up in the app store, just go ahead and add it on the device and wait for it to download. Once it downloads, just go ahead and open it up for 30 seconds. Now make sure you open the installation files for a minimum of 30 seconds. Just to be sure it has plenty of time to actually unpack on the device. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend 30 seconds on here now. So once 30 seconds are up, simply go ahead and head back to the installation page and do the same with the last file added on the device. Open it up for 30 seconds as well. And that's going to be 30 seconds. Now let's go ahead and confirm if the installation was successful. So as you can see, it says the installation was successful. Files have been added on the device. Please restart. So once you see this page after everything is done, all you're going to do is just go ahead and restart your Android or iOS devices. I'm just going to go ahead and restart this iPhone. And just as soon as it powers off, let's go ahead and turn it back on. And just like that, we have the Panda Clicker installed on the device. And that is how simple it is. If you have any questions regarding the whole process, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments and I'll look into it. And with that, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one.